Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is Bournemouth, it is Day Matters England, it is episode 34 of Day Matters England, and we are here today with the final league game here against Everton. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit more anticlimactic than what it was looking when we just drew the Wolves, because we won both games, and Everton and Wolves kind of fell off the boil, and we currently can't finish lower than 7th. However, look, there is a slim possibility that we can go pump Everton by like 6 goals, and Spurs drop off, and we finish like 5th or 6th. Um, but we are bringing this game because I said I was going to bring it Everton game. And if I just showed you the um, this uh, the Arsenal game in the FA Cup, these guys might have questioned why it didn't show us the Everton game. So here we are, Fort B on the safer side. Um, we are currently live on stream. Links are in the description below. But as you can see, since we last met after that draw, we beat Brighton 3 0, robbed that game. Big news Joshua King's out for the next two to three months. So his days are done here at um, Bournemouth. Um, I could have given him an. Um, let him see the specialist, so he's only out for two months. I kind of said, you're, you're leaving on a free. You can be out for three months. I don't care. Um, we then beat Burnley 2-1 in a game we weren't that great in. We actually had one shot, one title, one goal for our first goal. In the end, we were lucky to get a win. We are home here against Everton. I am going to play full strength side. Keep them all fit for this game coming up. This is the side that you will probably see more than not play in the final of the um, FA Cup. Macy Tonali coming over for a while. Uh, but off we go. I've kind of started scouting for next season, but that's what's going to be the next stream. Um, got to get off the stream because my old man apparently is now surprising us coming over for dinner, um, obviously with my mum. So in that case, then, I am going to go and really leave it. Who's B Shields? He looks good, the 18-year-old Scotsman. Um, I can't wait to use him at Everton. There we are. Um, but obviously Everton's not in the too far distant future. That's got a bad squad here. Hold it might be a bit old, but Shields is good. Gilfie might be a bit old. Carver Lewin grows into a good player. Lookman good does and a Wobie's not bad. That's actually not bad for what I'm thinking when we get Everton. It's good that I'm thinking long long term. Um, this season with Bournemouth, by the way, has been great and I'm pretty happy how things are going. Um, but yeah, I've already started playing for next season. Um, no one really to write home about. There's been a couple of youngsters a lot from Brazil that are really good. But I just don't think that they're going to be work permit worthy. But we'll find out anyway. Keller Wilson, I'm delighted for him. Uh, Keller Fernandinho, if he's still got his physicality, uh, he's borderline. I don't really know. Had an older Kante back at Sunderland, which helped me win the Premier League title. So maybe a Fernandinho coming in wouldn't be the worst option as a backup centre mid. We have a lot of central midfielders, though. As things stand, though, we are finishing seventh, looking like finishing seventh. But let's get through this game here as Lookman gets on the ball and just drives forward, hits it well wide. Um, but yeah, I am think this is a good time to talk about our plans for next season. We are going to be in Europe. Surely with our reputation boost, we will be okay. Um, and we can go in and get, um, you know, we can go in and get the players we need. Stoker losing. If we were to get the 59 points, that would be absurd. And then see what happens. To finish tied, sick, technically, and seventh on goal difference would be an amazing achievement. Anyway, Jones picks it up. We definitely need a centre back. I've got it in my notes here, just down to my left. I could definitely need a centre back. Probably need a centre midfielder if we can't get Carlos a work permit. I'll probably hold on for Carlos, though. Um, you know, because there's cover on heads wide. Um, Carlos only has one game with Colombia in June, and that gives him playing three games this year, which should be enough to get him a work permit. If it's not, he has then like four games coming up in September and October. By then, we're getting applying his work permit in June, hopefully in October, when it's back up for eligibility. Because he doesn't need to be registered because he's 18, I should be able to get him work permit. He should be able to play then. So I might just hold off. Um, this squad, by the way, has finished seventh. So like with a striker coming in in Omar, who I think is really good. Um, and uh, who else are we talking about? Omar. There's also um, no one else coming in just as yet, but a lot of people that I've kind of looked at already. You know, I'm thinking like maybe if like a standout right winger came in for Sissoko, I wouldn't mind. Um, you know, if there was an, a massive improvement on Session Young, I wouldn't mind. Session Young's really good. Uh, we have a backup left back coming in. You know, we've got right back. We've got depth. I just think we need a better first team quality. Definitely at centre back. Centre back is huge. But anyway, it's new, new after 60 played and Ponce will get on it. And there we are. Session Young, Sissoko there, sorry. Back stick, scores. Sissoko in the last month and a bit has been on fire. So like... There's no real need to like get him out. He's obviously pretty damn good for the level, um, but you got to remember the guy is getting older at 31, so he's eventually going to decline. Um, it's more the fact if I can go on another perfect run but be defensively more solid. If we had this season that we just had right now, right, in terms of scoring goals and we were defensively more solid, we could, if the Premier League was very open, win the Premier League, right? As it so happens, Liverpool have scored 92 freaking points. Unreal side of Liverpool. For us, the top of Liverpool will be difficult, but it'll be interesting to see. We are 1-0 up, and it is a corner. United are now drawing, anyway. Sessignon, hit it. 
hit it from distance. I really wanted a party goal. Jones gets crunched. It will fall there to Heidemann. 70 minutes play. We'll look to start making changes now. Heidemann's long ball is cleared, but only as far as Heidemann again, who picks it up in the end, probably should have done better. Still 1-0 up here against Everton. Would be nice to go into that game with a win. I'm going to get Aaron Cheney on there for Heidemann. Um, just youngster, youngster on and Quinn on for Sissoko, who scored. Just thinking about for the final and seeing who we can bring off. Um, probably been Callum Wilson off as well in the 75th. Quinn, the youngster, the 16-year-old, wasn't far away. I don't know how he can convince everybody to let him take that with all the elder people out there that can take a free kick, but he has. Anyway, 78 minutes played. It's another highlight. I am going to get Wilson off because he's the most important of the lot. Um, the biggest injury that would happen would be, obviously, then to lose Ponce. I need those front two. Anyway, Quinn, what a ball. Wilson's there. Hits it. Good save from the keeper to keep Everton in the game. In a game, it doesn't really matter too much. But, you know, very excited times at Bournemouth. I'm going to stream that um, transfer window live. And to be honest, I don't really have anything planned for tonight um, with no coaching and that. We could have a quite a long stream. We could do, like, the whole off-season, pre-season in this window. Um, go on a massive scout and then see how we go. By the way, this Bournemouth side has been really good and I'm really happy with it. I am going to get Callum off because I'm making a change here. You watch us concede. Um, Luongo's going to go in there. I'm going to maybe get Ponce in his more natural position and get Luongo in there as a pressing forward on attack, just for whatever reason. Um, and there we are. Next season, I'm going to play with a poacher. Um, anyway, Cessna Young's picked up the ball and counter-pressed well. Cessna Young with a great ball in a Wilson before he comes off. Can he score? To bury it, he does. Just is about to come off. He scored 30 goals this season, by the way, Callum. What a signing. 15 mil in the end with all the clauses. Unreal. Unreal signing. And there we are. has been Callum. And I really do love him as an advance forward. Cessna Young's been really good too, and he's obviously going to keep growing. The wonder kid as well, playing first in football, is now natural as a left winger, as a left winger, a bit deeper in that left mid role. Um, really happy with him as well. Yeah, get him off before he gets injured, please. And there we are. And we'll get into the end of the game. Could have maybe have brought the, you know, Manzo on because he's also a youngster. But Manzo could play a part in that final anyway, whereas I don't think Aaron Cheney would. I might get him on the bench. I'm really happy with his growth. Low to there to Quinn. Quinn now. I'm going to give you for a little bit of a go because I don't expect to win the Premier League long ago missing there. Do need to replace him next season. Might see if someone gets interested in him anyway. Free kick late doors. Quinn's got a good free kick. Whips it in back stick. In the end, no one attacked it. Ponce there will get there. Whips it back in. Sessing on maybe with a chance. It is in the end blocked. And it's going to be a corner late doors. We are going to win on the final day 2-0 here, which is great. You know, to keep the winning ways going. Didn't lose in our last five league games. Three draws, two wins. Pretty happy with that. Maybe even six. Three, three draws, three wins. Um, well done, lads. Obviously really happy with that. We are going to finish seventh, which is great, though, for the reputation. Do finish in Europe. Um, I don't know if that means we need to play in the playoff or not. Hopefully, we don't need to get it for a playoff. If we do, it'll be a YouTube episode because I really want to make it into Europe. Anyway, um, quality of possession. We did keep possession. Um, Liverpool crown Premier League winners. Um, Got to do the press conference there as we talk about, you know, it depends on where we go with the squad. It's no price. You know, obviously, would the lights is it done stay in there? Uh, we get 27 mil as well, which means financially for next season, we have got 83 mil. We've got 80 mil transfer budget because we haven't been set next season's budget. Um, we have turned over a profit this season as well. We're apparently not reaching financial fair play, but when you come up from the championship, you never do. Um, Spurs, by the looks of things, won't get European football depending on who wins the thing, because only six team sides will, which does mean for us that that Cabaret Cup win was huge. Um, we do finish on the same points as Spurs as well, but uh, you know what? The first part of this season wasn't great. Uh, have a look at this. A lot of draws, a lot of defeats through there. You know, it wasn't great. Basically in the relegation zone up until here. Um, and then we turned it around in December, late December turned it around. Um, and then obviously after that, we never looked back. Once we signed Phil Jones at the back, made a bit of a difference defensively, a little bit more leadership back there, we went on a run of all runs. And look at our second half of the year. You know, we scored four highest goals this season, and if we were defensively more solid than conceding 69 times this season, you know, if we conceded maybe 40 times this season, imagine the games we would have won and the points we would have picked up. We would not have had 11 draws and 11 losses. We would be around maybe in the top 75 points. You know, we probably would have finished in the four Anyhow, from Damien, from Bournemouth, from everything that has gone about here this season, that is the end of episode 34. Links are in the description below. Come follow us on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, as well, if you like the episode, like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.